Vicki Carpenter, followed by Ed Owen, and Mr. Owens is the last slip I have. Good, e good evening, Vi Vice Mayor and, and Council Members. The meeting that you had in April, you criticized Chris Tooker as not being a friend to the city of Elk Grove. Chris Tooker is the best friend the city of Elk Grove and our residents have. You criticized him regarding the LAFCO meeting. Sophia, Jim, and Gary, you each criticized Chris out of turn. Um, I will expect you by the next meeting to have reviewed that LAFCO meeting and make the appropriate apologies. The, cr the criticisms that you gave of Chris were actually comments that were made by Commissioner Yee, not Chris Tooker. Uh, you criticized uh, the issues regarding the letter that Mayor Cooper sent, and those, those criticisms came from Jimmy Yee. They did not come from Chris. Chris has, except for recently because of job requirements, he no longer lives in Elk Grove. Chris was born and raised in Elk Grove, his family. Uh, his kids went to school with my kids, and he is uh, dedicated to the city of Elk Grove, and we are thankful. The citizens need to be thankful that he is that he has our back when each of you is pushing forward with this SOI that is not necessary. The proposed SOI is consistent with virtually every regulatory and planning effort in the re region, including the County General Plan, SACOG's Sustainable Communities Strategy, the Sacramento Quality Management Plan, and many, many more. But yet you move forward with this determined to move out of the urban services boundary. It is irresponsible and neglectful of you to continue to pursue this. I intend to make sure that this is campaign issues for this fall. If it doesn't go to LAFCO and is not resolved before the election, a lot of us in the community will make sure that it is an issue, that it stays before the voters and that they understand. I've been out in the community collecting signatures and I have not heard one positive comment about the SOI moving forward. So it seems like our city government is the only one that wants this to move forward. The MSR that is currently before LAFCO is very seriously flawed. ECOS has submitted a letter regarding how bad it is flawed. Our city is an example. 27 general plan amendments at the April LAFCO meeting, one of the other council, one of the other commissioners made a very interesting comment that is very true of Elk Grove. Elk Grove is a contract city. And I will add to that, it's owned by the developers. Those 27 general plan amendments speak to that loudly. When the city has to spend $3.5 million to draw a large business to this community, something is wrong with our business plan. Folsom, Roseville, and Rockland spent zero dollars and have gotten at least seven new businesses in the last 10 months. They have not had to pull any strings to get businesses to come to their communities. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. Council Member Davis. Nikki, I appreciate your comments, <clears throat> and certainly um, we have disagreement on the issue of the SOI, but I do need to set the record straight. You should go back and check, because I wouldn't and didn't say anything about Mr. Tooker. I, it's not in my character to do it. So uh, if you heard something, you might want to just double check. But I know comments were made, but it didn't come from, from me. Thank you. Uh, Ed Owen, followed by Larry Nays. Thank you. Uh, Ed Owen, followed by Larry Nays. Would you here in Elk Grove. I qualify. Um, well, that's kind of hard to follow. Uh, Vice Mayor and Council Members. Well, I've got uh, an apology to make. Um, last uh, meeting, I stated that we had a million four hundred thousand square feet of commercial retail industrial vacancy here in Elk Grove. <clears throat> So I went back and checked my sources, which is loopnet.com, and lo and behold, I really think we're in worse shape than I thought we were. Because as the reviewing, and I have, I will give this to the clerk, there are 
square feet of office space, there's 726,000 square feet of vacant industrial space, and this is a big one, 1 million 480,000 square feet of commercial retail. Now again, someone can go and verify this, but I added up, went through the whole thing. So based on your 2011 annual growth report, which we'll be talking about later, uh, shows that we had a 1% growth in Elk Grove in 2012. So based on all the available vacant commercial, retail, industrial, and I, I haven't checked on the number of vacant housing lots that are sitting in subdivisions that haven't been built on, but that's my next thing. I just don't know how, at this time, the city council and the city of Elk Grove could possibly think that we need to expand our boundaries. Um, and I explained last time that the developers and the, I had to assess their parcel numbers and everything that they had bought. So I'm not, I'm not accusing anyone. I'm just trying to say, gentlemen, we need to look at our future. I have six grandchildren. My two, daughter and son live here. I live here. And it's up to me to protect my grandchildren's future. And the way that I'm going to do it is fight this SOI as long as I can. Now, I appreciate your time, but I'm asking you because in 20 years, none of you are going to be here on this council. You'll probably be in the assembly. You'll be up at the senator for the state. I don't know where you want to go. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know where you want to go. I won't be here in 20 years. You're right on that. So <laughs> I think we can't just jeopardize somebody's future, walk away from it in 10 years and go, whoa, well, gee, I made a mistake. Look at the mistake was made since 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, the reduction in the city growth and building permits, et cetera. Yeah, I'm an old man, but by God, it's my month. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Mr. Owen. I forgot. I wanted to show you. you can, I'm going to turn this in so you'll have it. This is a map. <clears throat> A study that was made in 2004 on Grant Line Road. And if you'll notice right about here, that's the new relocation of Waterman. So see how it ties right in with this new study that was done in 2004? Now that's kind of funny, isn't it? Thank you. I'll make just one comment, though, uh, with respect to public comment and, and Mr. Owen's comments in particular. You know, if you think back, Ed, to when you and your brother were framing houses for my grandfather, how would you have pictured uh, things 30, 50 years from then? And so to look at um, what I think is, is long-term smart planning in terms of what our current conditions are, we're doing a disservice not only to uh, – to the fact that we have the time and the ability, while things are slow, uh, to keep up and, and try and get ahead of things. But we're really doing a disservice to those grandkids that you mentioned in, in trying to put in place uh, a planning and, and something that will last for Elk Grove for the next, hopefully, 50 years, if not beyond that. So I appreciate your point. I just want to think that we have to be looking at it in a, in a broader uh, sense than, than what uh, maybe you mentioned. So. With that, um... apologies. Good evening. Um, in uh, just reading this report briefly, I can see that there's been a decline in our population numbers. And so it causes me to question our need for the SOI. There's also been a decrease in retail and uh, building permits issued. What is alarming to me is that we look at building permits issued for single-family residents, and single-family low-density residents will not improve our air quality, nor will it provide us light light rail transportation in the future. We can look at Kasumnas, and I'm glad that you, you went to that, and I'm excited about light rail getting to Kasumnas. But in looking to the future, if we're looking, I'd like to look 
earlier than 50 years for us to have light rail. I'd like to be able to ride light rail someday. My cause for concern as far as the planning by the city is the, plan the planning by the city hasn't been evidence of good planning or smart planning. We are not following policies that have been in place or research evidence that, that is out there that there says that there's better ways to do urban planning. So how can I entrust you as the decision makers of today for those in the future? How can I trust you to make good decisions for grandchildren, great-grandchildren, or others? There are some that probably in L.A. sat on the L.A. City Council at one time and made decisions for the future and created suburban sparl, which then created blight. If we look at what's happening along Elk Grove Boulevard and we drive down Laguna and we look at the current graffiti that we are, we are uh, experiencing, how can we say that we need to look beyond the current urban boundaries? How can you, as our decision makers, ignore the statistics out there and what's reflected by those that really aren't concerned about developer needs? And, and the monies of right now. I did briefly go on and look at the stats for the birth rates, and the birth rates for Sacramento County aren't going to significantly increase. The, the uh, Elk Grove School District, they probably couldn't give you dates of when they plan on opening those elementary schools because their enrollment has dropped. I don't have those numbers, but it's not increasing at the rate that it once was. So I encourage you to really rethink Mr. Hume, Councilman Hume, your comments to Mr. Owen, are they really appropriate? Thank you. I believe they are, and I still stand by them. Thank you, Ms. Wheat. Anybody else to speak on the... Uh